sexual abuse in the Afghan police. Over the past two decades, the Afghan government has spent considerable money, time and effort to increase the role of women in the nation's police. But the BBC has revealed in a report allegation of widespread sexual harassment. In this research, several women in the Afghan National Police have been interviewed who claimed sexual abuses by the male colleagues and their chief. Human rights organizations say most cases of sexual harassment in the Afghan police are not reported. Sister, where did you come from? The woman police carefully checked to avoid the transfer of explosive materials in the capital. He raised the security belt of Kabul. Brother, calm down. The sensitive key task for these women police officers is to distinguish the friend from the enemy under the burqa and shadow. A few years ago, there was no woman in the police to do such a things. Even today, the total number of women in the Afghan National Police is less than 4,000. By the broadcasting these promotional videos, the government is trying to get more women into the police force. Four years ago, after seeing of the same videos, women went to the police. But she says that what she experienced in the practice more different from what she saw in the videos. My chief attacked me, tore my clothes, the gate was closed on me. No matter how much I shouted, no one came because everyone was scared. He was a police chief. He raped me and then kicked me out of the office. She has gone door to door of any government institution for six months and complained against the accused police chief. But at the end, the judge found the accused police chief innocent. The police chief said allegations against him were blessedness that when Mumina decided to set her on fire in the main square of Nili city. She says judge confirmed the accused word and no one listened to my words. Mumina was drowning in tear and petrol in the spring of 2020. She says no one came to see and hear my voice that what happens to you. Crowds of people surrounded her and did not let her light fire. The judge in this case says that Mumina did not provide enough evidence to prove her allegations and conviction. And he also says he did not tell to Mumina to kill herself. We have spoken to several female police officers who had experienced some form of sexual harassment while on duty, and they said that they They never filed a complaint about the sake of their reputation protection and their job. The Afghan government acknowledged that this is a major challenge for Afghan women police. In the last one and a half year, we made a lot of decisions and we can make the same decisions for the next round, said not a deputy of interior ministry. She said if he harassed Mumina at this time, the same person can harass someone else for the second try, we need to clear the ranks of police. Many of the accused of sexual harassment are supported by powerful people, and also those who are documenting the abuse and sexual harassment cases in the police, they are under serious pressure from the accused people. Binafsha Amiri, 
from women's organizations for Afghan women in 2019 and 2020. We had cases where the people visited to the police for their complaint before moving to the safe house. They were raped too. It's almost impossible to point the exact number of women who have been sexually abused in the police force. But our investigation over the past few months shows that the allegations of sexual harassment are widespread in the police. Umina is still struggling to reach the justice in Dai Kundi. She shows a massive of evidence that she has collected to defend herself and her claims. Papers that so far given her nothing but she is suffering grief and despair. But despite the heavy pressure of the women who have spoken to us, they will go all the way to get their rights. Thanks for watching and listening.